Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the propeller shaft and its manufacturing process. So what is a propeller shaft? It is a material or an element that connects the engine and the differential. It not only transmits the rotary motion of the engine to the differential but it also absorbs the shock and transmits power at various angles accommodate changes in length all these functions are performed by this propeller shaft it can when imagine if a vehicle going in a steep slope the angle of the propeller shaft is changes so that it can also be able to transmit the power from the engine to the differential and it also change in length it can accommodate the change in length because if you are moving in a bumpy roads the front wheel and the back wheel are suffers from a vibration so that the propeller shafts also are extend and contract naturally so that it can also accommodate the change in length then it can be a single member for cars and it can be hollow or solid in cross section this is a variety of propeller shafts then manufacturing there are methods uh, used in this manufacturing of the propeller shaft are continuous casting of the propeller shaft and extrusion of propeller shaft and extrusion dies finally heat treatment and surface hardening for the for protecting the propeller shaft from changing the property and environmental factors then continuous casting it is the method used for the manufacturing of the propeller shaft it includes the ingot that is a material or metal that is heated and molten condition and poured into the tun dish through a bottomless water cooled mold the water cooled mold has a water spraying guns so that the water sprayed on the molten metal so that the molten metal gets cooled and solidified and straightened using the some mechanisms and it can be cutted using a torch see this picture the mold the ingot is placed on the furnace and the molten metal comes through a tun dish and a water cooled mold is placed at the bottom so that it solidifies comes down and torch can be used to, to cut at a desired length this is a simple diagram showing the continuous casting process first of all it is a highly automated process and reduces the production cost and companies are converting over to this type of casting because it is a highly productivity process it is an easy process as well then it is a simple diagram showing the before then because of the high efficiency and favorable economies it is the replacing traditional steel making and another non ferrous metals the traditional methods are so costly and it's time consuming uh, when compared to this continuous casting method this is the complete process after the pieces were cutted in rounds squares slab or plate this process used uh, for making this cold drawn bars rods using uh, rods can be made into wires and tube rods can be formed into seamless pipe and structured shapes can also be made and finally it can also be made into a sheets rolls hollow pipes plates etc then extrusion extrusion is a manufacturing process for extruding the material through a die a billet is used as a raw material and a die is used as a supporting material the die which acts as a uh, model or a uh, template for the shaft the billet is the raw material used in this this is the billet it can be uh, some it can be a steel or something else or an alloy 
it is used as a final length of a material charged into the extrusion press cylinder then it homogenizing process in this process the ingots are raised to temperatures at near the solidus temperature and held at that temperature for varying lengths of time because the property changes if we did not uh, homogenize and it, it improves the workability of the shaft then it is the homogenizing furnace here only we place the uh, shafts into this and uh, raising a temperature and kept them for a more hours this is the die some two di types of die are present hollow die and solid die these dies act as a template for the billet to take up the shape and it is uh, the press tools a uh, punch and die are used but there are most uh, other types of thread die are uh, thread cutting dies forming dies forging dies die casting dies etc the materials used in this dies are tool steels carbides and diamond dies are used for the only for fine wires for hot drawing cast steel dies are used lubrication the lubrication must be present because when the billet is forcing the die friction occurs and the billet gets damaged so to prevent that uh, we are we want to reduce the friction so that lubricating agent must be uh, used in this process and types of lubrication are wet drawing dry drawing coating ultrasonic vibration etc then press press is used to, to compress the billet or ex or force the billet towards the die so that it will be at a, it will be under the high pressure and the main columns fixing the front platen and the cylinder are together the die is supported by series of a, a series of cylinder a series of back dies or backers which supports and bolts for transferring the main press load to the front platen this is what the process this is the billet this is a die this is a ram over which the press is present this is a dummy block the dummy block is used to hold the billet and this is the bolster packer for the supporting of the extruded product then aging it is also a temperature uh, pro temperature related process to retain the property of an alloy the minimum is 6 hours in 18 degree uh, celsius temperature the process flow chart the complete process flow chart is listed below first of all ingot is taken melting then laboratory analysis then casting that is continuous casting log formation and billets then sample checking extrusion die heating and billet heating then cutting first inspection aging this is the complete process of a propeller shaft to projection from forging that is yoke or spline shaft is taken then machining and cleaning welding assembling balancing painting final inspection these are all the process taken place in the manufacturing of the propeller shaft then heat treatment heat treatment is the final stage of the propeller shaft manufacturing the heat if we did not make this heat treatment we will lose all of money money because heat treatment is the operation that is used to, to save and retain the properties of the propeller shaft so that hardening of the steel is the first step that is may harden the outer surface so that it will not get damaged due to shock change in length and varying angles so another advantage of steel is that when it is produced it is quite soft and can be machined easily into complex shapes but it can be hardened by heating it to a high temperature that is above 850 degrees celsius and cooling it rapidly in oil or water that is called a quenching process 
and after hardening a reduced hardness but an increased toughness can be obtained by heating the components at a chosen temperature usually between 150 degrees celsius and 600 degrees celsius the process called tempering these are all the heat treatment process that save the propeller shaft from the environmental factors and the changing properties so these are all the details about the manufacturing of the propeller shaft so if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos finally thank you for watching